All right, we can expect to see drive-through testing sites popping up all across the region. The first one opened today in Kenosha County. Yes, Lauren Linder has more on what you need to know if you feel you need to be tested. All day, cars have been rolling through Freighter South's Pleasant Prairie Clinic, where people can now quickly get tested for the coronavirus by appointment. To come here, you have to get screened by a nurse over the phone, who will then decide whether testing is warranted in the drive-through outside the clinic. The test is very quick and simple. They take two swabs, one through the nasal cavity and one through the mouth, um, bottle those up, send them off for testing, and then usually within two or three days, we're, we're hoping to get results back. Aaron Miller of Freighter South says they wanted to get a drive-through site up and running as soon as possible to avoid cross-contamination. We could still um, maintain patient appointments that were occurring in the clinic as they were normally scheduled. Many of the drive-through testing and screening tents popping up throughout our area and the country are being set up by Arena Americas here in Oak Creek. This truck is ready to head out to a local facility. It's a fluid situation where we're getting calls all the time, uh, hour by hour. Peter Stemmler of Arena Americas says so far nationally they've worked with more than 20 facilities to install drive through and screening sites. In the state, nearly 10 facilities. While he can't name specific locations, he says we should expect more in the area in the next two weeks. Really places that have large open footprints where you can have cars go through there easily. A spokesperson from Aurora Healthcare tells me over in Milwaukee, St. Luke's Medical Center will open a drive through site next week. They'll also require appointments following a screening process. For more information on testing and screenings, visit our website, TMJ4.com. For now, reporting in Pleasant Prairie, Lauren Linter, TMJ4 News.